Hey guys, this is Patty B within the hauler. I got another firearm I'd like to share with y'all. This is the Canic SFX Rival, chambered in nine millimeter. Go ahead and make sure she's clear. Yeah, the SFX Rival is a polymer frame, striker fired semi-automatic pistol. It is designed for competition and feeds from 18 round magazines. I'd like to give a shout out to my buddy Archer. He just picked this up yesterday. We put a few rounds through it, but we're gonna put a bunch more through it today and uh, see what we think about this. You know, Canik, when they first started, you know, getting imported from Turkey back in the day, they were just kind of like a budget gun, you know, based on the Walther design. But they've really upped their game. You know, they've uh, gone heavily into the competition realm, you know, winning lots of tournaments and making their guns better and better and better. And this thing is, uh, you know, made to be right out of the box, competition ready. So speaking of the box, what all do you get with this thing? You know, Canik probably does the best job of giving you uh, the most stuff in their box. Um, as you can see, you've got two additional back straps, you've got cleaning tools, you've got bit drivers and uh, punch tools. Also in here is a couple different uh, magazine releases. So you can put different ones in to adjust the length of the magazine release. Of course, you've got all your books and literature in there. Uh, this side over here, it comes right, you know, with a holster, you know, just a cheap outside the waistband, but hey, it's free. So why wouldn't you take it? Uh, four optics plates, because this is an optics ready firearm, two magazines and uh, two different size base plates because we've already installed this, but it comes without the uh, magwell. And if you want to run that, you can shoot, use the short base plate. If you want to run the magwell, which I think most people will, you can go ahead and put on the longer base plate just so the magazine fits a little better. Yeah, Canik out of the box, man, they just give you so much stuff and everything you need to work on their guns and uh, definitely pretty cool. Uh, so the specs on this thing, it's got a five inch barrel and it weighs 29 and a half ounces with an empty magazine on my scale. Features on this, uh, we'll start with this lower down here. Feels pretty good in your hand. Uh, you know, I guess the first thing you're gonna notice is the gold controls on this. Not really my style, but my buddy kind of likes it. You know, I'm kind of old, so I kind of like plain Jane, but it definitely does look pretty sharp if that's your thing. If not, they make a dark mode version of this, which I think is just all blacked out and not near as flashy. Uh, controls, like I said earlier, your magazine release, you have different sizes that you can install to fit whatever you want, and it is swappable to the other side. Slide stop, slide release, ambidextrous, got it on both sides. Uh, the magwell that does come with it that you can put on if you want does a pretty good job funneling it into where it needs to go got a nice undercut here and then double undercut over here the thing just feels pretty good in your hand uh, the trigger on this thing i don't know how to say it but outstanding it is just so good one of the unique things you'll see is it's kind of like a glock style dingus but it is incredibly wide and it's also checkered and it just feels so good on your trigger finger but we'll go ahead and pull it take up the uh, slack get to the wall and it's now 90 degrees which is pretty awesome and it's so good i measured on my scale it was about a three pound break but i think just because it's wide it feels less the trigger is just completely excellent and i love it reset incredibly short right there audible and tactile the trigger is just awesome of course, you got a you know rail up front to put whatever you want to put on there. The slide, they've done a whole lot of milling on the slides. You got lightning cuts everywhere, looks really good. Slide serrations. You can just tell they've done a whole lot of work to this slide to uh you know make it look pretty slick. Sights on this, blacked out rear, fiber front, which is fully adjustable for windage and elevation, which man, that thing's just I don't know how you, I don't know what more they could give you right out of the box to make this thing good. But uh, yeah, sights are excellent and being adjustable is just the uh, cherry on top. Of course, like all Canics, you've got a striker indicator. Just lets you know when it's the striker's charged. You pull the trigger and you can see that it's not. Uh, like I said, it's optics ready, which does mean I think you're going to lose the rear sight on this. But, uh, you know, if you're going for optics, you don't really, really need that rear sight anyways, especially if you're just doing competition. You don't really need backups. Disassembly on this, you know, pretty darn easy. Always make sure she's clear. Pull your uh, slide to the rear, pull your tabs down, pull the trigger, and then it just comes forward just a little bit. 
and then just pops right off. And then you can see the uh, inside of what we got in here. Pretty standard stuff. Installation the same way. You just kind of get right behind the uh, slide rails, pop it on, and there you go. Pretty easy. So yeah, really excited about taking this thing outside and doing a bunch of shooting with it. Uh, you know, my initial impressions are, man, it's going to shoot well. You know, anytime you've got excellent sights and a good trigger, you know, <laughs> you're probably going to shoot it well. And uh, I anticipate, anticipate it being a good time taking this out and, you know, putting it up against other competition style pistols that, uh, you know, I've gotten that we've shot. We'll see where the Canik stacks up in that. All right, well, let's go outside, ring some steel, have a good time. We'll come back in and tell you what we think about this thing. All right, we got some Remington 115 grain full metal jacket. Let's see where the uh, Canik's hitting for us out of the box. All right, hitting pretty close, good enough. Uh, man, that trigger, something special. Riding the slide release? Yeah. What do you think about your new toy? I like it a lot. How's it shoot? Shoots better than a lot of real expensive guns. <laughs> Got a nice trigger for sure, good set of sights. Yeah. Not too much to complain about on that thing. Well, it's like we talked about earlier. I think it shoots a little softer than the Walther. Mm. All right, back about 15 yards, see what we can do. Yeah, no problem shooting that distance with this thing. Um, I'm probably going to say it a thousand times in this review, but that trigger just makes it easy. Let's try that 25-yard plate. <laughs> Had a whiff around the last one, but... Uh, yeah, this thing's shooting good. All right, we're going to try 40. But we're going to try doing it uh, with the Dickens drill, which is uh, 10 shots in under 15 seconds, trying to make eight hits. See what we can do with the uh, rival SFX. All right, I got my eight hits and we did it in uh, 1183. So not bad, but this is a pretty excellent gun. He had like a self-defense pistol. Uh, this thing makes it a little easier.
All right, we got a few rounds left. Let's take some shots at that 60 yard play. All right, not too bad. All right, back inside from shooting the Canik SFX Rival. We'll make sure she's clear. And yeah, just a whole lot of fun. Uh, we put almost 500 rounds through it in the last two days and uh, zero malfunctions, which is always good. And this pistol is just super, uh, super fun to shoot and easy to shoot well. You know, that trigger and those sights just make it pretty darn easy to shoot. You know, for the price you pay for this, I think he paid $650 at a local Academy Sports. And I just don't know how you can beat it. You know, if you're going to compare it to something like, you know, like the Glock 34, you know, to, to get the Glock 34 to be like this, you're going to have to put a magwell, a new trigger, and new sights. And by the time you do that, you're going to spend way more money than you would on just go ahead and buying this Canik. To me, this com uh, compares really well to the Smith & Wesson m and Competitor and maybe the SIG P320 Legion. Because out of the box, you buy it, and you don't really need to do anything unless you want to put an optic on it. But if you're going to run irons, this thing doesn't need anything. I don't really have any, uh, you know, complaints with it. I guess if I was going to pick one, I would say that the uh, grip texture is good, but it's not great. I guess you could put some talent grips or something on there to make it great. But if that's the biggest complaint you have with a handgun, you know you're doing pretty good. Uh, right out of the box, easy to shoot well and fun to shoot. I just don't know how you can beat it. Pretty nice pistol. I know a lot of people, they're not huge Canik fans. You know, made in Turkey and imported. Doesn't have the long tradition and history that, you know, Glocks or Smith & Wesson does. But this thing is pretty darn excellent. So, you know, if you're wanting to get in the competition game and don't have a whole lot of money, I don't know how you could go wrong with this just because it's so much fun, so easy to shoot, and easy to shoot well. So, well, there you go, guys. Canik SFX Rival. Y'all have a nice day.